Good morning. Day 31. The verified <laughs> begins. I've continued to contemplate my contemplations, and I think I'm making the best choice I can make at this point. That's all a person can do. This isn't an official anything, and it's not a contest, so not really breaking any rules, but in some ways it's a small failure. It would have been nice to finish off those last, eh, it's like 13 miles from here to the border. But I was a couple quarts low on water yesterday. I could feel it coming over these lumps over to here. And if I'd pushed on too hard yesterday, I was going to make myself sick. And then I still run into the problem of how the heck do I get to Newport for my hotel tonight. So, to avoid the shuttle or hitching, we uh, we'll turn here. It's J Pass. Thankfully, we're at the top of the pass. So, we don't have to climb a lot before we can start going down. I just gotta watch out for the cars. They go very fast. If you've ever read the Long Trail Guide, they warn you about cars. The fact that they're fast. But yeah, they say it might not rain today. That would be something. I put on dry socks, dry underwear, a dry shirt, dry pants. We'd be all civilized out here on the road. Big breeze out here. This actually should be a very pretty roadblock, so it's not raining on me. I'll show you some beautiful farmland out here. Rolling hills. As long as the bears don't get us. Ooh, chipmunk. As long as the bears don't get us. It should be a very interesting road walk across. I just know we'll be traversing the area where people live. That's where you run into more problem bears. In the wilderness, the bears are afraid of you. But people bears, yeah, they get used to people and they're not afraid of you anymore. I think it might be finally over the hump on this cold. I don't know if that was COVID or what, but whoever brought that out to the trail for me, uh, I have foul language for you. Because I've been on trail the whole time, so I know somebody brought it to me. I think it was those people at Taft. They started all the trouble. Not like me, I never caused any trouble. I camped alone every night while I was sick to make a point. Even in the rain, I camped in my hammock because you can't camp in a shelter when you're sick. That's just rude. But other people seem to have different philosophies about things. I heard one guy describe it as you do whatever the hell you need to do. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound very social. I mean, what about other people's needs? <laughs> oh, well, here comes a big truck. I'll talk to you later. Well, we stopped for our first gas station sandwich. Best part of road walks is they sometimes walk you past the gas station with a sandwich. Lovely little roast beef from provolone, the ginger ale. It was two days old, but well preserved. Oh, well. I think we're finally closing in on our first intersection of the day. Looking forward to that.
It's a sign of progress. Can't be this quick between cars. Downhill into Troy. It's an intersection. Yay. Don't know if there'll be a gas station. Don't know if there'll be a sandwich. I found this beautiful spot, but the traffic is just horrendous around here, so it's really hard to find a chance to show it to you. I waited. I hope you think it was worth it. It's a nice little pond. I bet there's some fabulous frogs in there. Oh look, more cars. So, um, there was a gas station with a general store, but there was also a general store. So, I can only go to one. Fabulous Italian sandwich, handcrafted, quite large. Couple of cold root beers. We're back on our way. But yeah, there's a lot of traffic out here. Sorry. Well, they tried to tempt me. Somebody actually turned around and came back, stopped, and asked me if I wanted a ride. Thankfully, my initial instinct is so strong, I said no. No, no. I really would have liked to ride. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important to maintain some integrity. <coughs> oh, we're getting somewhere. I can see the lake down there. Mamongfarog or something. I don't know. It's another one of those long names. Whew. Yeah, we must be getting somewhere. The speed limit's going down to 35. Oof. It's been a really long day. I gotta see how far this was. I didn't have cell service to do a check on the route from where I started, but I think it's over 20 miles. But you do what you can. That's all you can do. But yeah. All I can do is keep walking. That's what I keep telling myself. That's my only tool. My only weapon. <laughs> walk. So, walk some more, and then walk some more. <coughs> oh, man. But yeah, be there soon, hopefully. I will see you on day 33 where it looks like it's going to be really hot and it's got a really long road rock so I'm thinking maybe we're going to leave really early on Wednesday but, uh, but yeah we made it to the hotel and uh, yeah let's see what happens from here <laughs> it's very different to be off the long trail it's good and bad it's terrible out here on the road Hot. It's a lot of traffic. It's loud. But uh, and here the co-op is, is covered in mud. So we got that to look forward to. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> oh, well, well, thought I better say night night. So night night. <laughs> <laughs>